The cabinet that will fill out South Korea's new administration next month under President-elect Yoon sung yeol will soon start to take shape. As his first prime minister, Yoon has announced that he's choosing former Prime Minister Han dok su who he said is the right person to handle the economy and national security. Han will have to be confirmed by parliament, which, when Yoon takes office, will be controlled by the opposition. Lee kyung has the details. President-elect Yoon sung yeol has picked former Prime Minister Han dok su to serve as the first PM under his new government. Yoon, like past presidents, announced the choice himself on Sunday, highlighting Han's expertise on the economy and national security to top priorities of Yoon's government agenda. Han previously served as finance minister, prime minister and ambassador to the U.S., playing a key role in negotiating the free trade agreement with the U.S. Han said he feels honored and a sense of responsibility at the same time, given mounting issues like the growing missile threats from the North, COVID-19 and South Korea's low birth rate. He said dialogue and communication will be a key part in solving them. One of the key factors deciding whether policies succeed will be bipartisan cooperation and integration. In fact, those elements were reportedly the key message Yoon had for Han during their meeting the previous night. That's because the soon-to-be main opposition Liberal Democratic Party holds a majority in the parliament. So their cooperation will be pivotal for Yoon to push through some of his main policies or changes to the law. He could get some help in that from the fact that Han has worked with two Liberal governments before. For the same reason, his confirmation could go more smoothly, which is important for Yoon. A parliamentary hearing takes roughly three weeks, and our goal is to see that the prime minister starts working as soon as the government launches. You said the nominee for deputy prime minister will be announced soon as well. Young Arirang News.